Welcome, I am the Tinkerer. This is where I'm always tinkering. I'm going to do a quick mini review of the Star Firestar 9mm. It's also available in 40 and 45, although the 45 is kind of hard to find. Uh, ever since I saw this gun, I said I needed to have one. That was about 1990 when they first hit the market. Uh, it was the first compact 9mm. Uh, the Wonder 9s were all a big deal back then, but they were pretty big for carry. This has all the features of the best guns of the, at the time, including a slightly flared magazine well, rubber grips, front and back strap, and the front of the trigger are textured for good grip. All of the controls, the uh, safety is ambidextrous, all of the controls are big and easy to operate. The sights were originally pretty good. Now, eh, not by today's standards. Uh, I've carried this a lot. I've shot it a lot, and I looked at the you know the the newer polymer frame guns, and they're nice and light, and they have some nifty new features that this one doesn't have. But I keep coming back to this one. Uh, yeah, it's heavy. But that weight means that it flips a whole lot less when you fire, and getting a second accurate shot is a little easier. The gun doesn't go as far between shots. Really, there's nothing wrong with this gun, well, that refinishing wouldn't help. So after careful consideration, I decided rather than buy a nifty new one, this is going to get upgraded. They do make Triticon sights for these. And it's going to get refinished slide, new sights. Uh, the only problem I've ever had with this is extraction, which is a known problem with them. But that's not really the gun's fault as much as it is the ammunition. If I'm using good quality you know, Winchester white box or Federal that has a good up-to-spec rim on the case, it works just fine. Never had a problem. The only problem I ever had it was when I tried shooting cheap ammunition that had uh, the rims of the cases were rounded and a few thousandths below spec. It had trouble extracting them. So if you're having extraction problems, it's probably your ammunition. Anything good quality works just fine. This is a terrific little gun. Please do not buy them. Keep the prices low. I want another one. Just my two cents worth on this really superb little pistol. It's now been around for, good lord, 27 years or so. And it measures up to, uh, to the ones of today. It's the same, it's, it's really a shame they stopped making them. If you see a good deal on one of these, let me know about it. Don't forget, like and subscribe.